I want to go over installing the motor plate in my DV30. Um, if you have a motor plate, I got mine from PMR. They're pretty straightforward. The directions are fairly simple. I'm going to deviate slightly from the directions, um, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, but if you have the motor plate, it's fairly simple. Make sure the PMR is facing on the left of the bike. Line up the two holes on the right with the original two holes in the original motor plate. Slide in the bolts. Now, the reason I'm going to deviate a little bit is because I'm not really happy with the amount of adjustability front and back that I have. I want that to be slightly greater. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here to give me a little more adjustability. I'm going to get a drill bit the same diameter as the bolt and simply drill another one. Okay, this is where I drilled the hole. Now, if you can see, just by doing that, gives me about a, another full inch of adjustability. I did that for two main reasons. I want to do the majority of my chain adjustment with my motor plate, and I also want to be able to position my engine as far back towards the rear wheel as I can just for added traction. The next thing I did, I drilled the last two holes on the opposite side of the first two, directly across. Now with all four, I still have that same amount of adjustment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the engine so I can get it lined up with the sprocket. Okay, so the engine is installed. Uh, one thing I want to remind everyone, the longer bolts go for the engine. Uh, you have eight bolts, four shorter than the other four. Use the shorter ones for the actual motor plate, the long ones are for the motor itself. The very last thing, and I made this mistake myself, the lateral movement is so you can line up the clutch sprocket with the wheel sprocket. Line it up, you'll have less uneven wear, Chain will last a little longer.